What's up guys, your boy Boy Boom, and I am back for another video, and man, the tailed beast. I feel like I made a video talking about how Naruto wasted the tailed beast, but now I can go into detail how I feel, how I feel about each version of each tailed beast. How I feel like they've wasted the tailed beast in Naruto. I just, I love the idea of the tailed beast in Naruto, but I feel like they could have protected affected it even more in some ways but let's talk about the tail beast man before we talk about the bad let's talk about the good and the positives of the tail beast what they did right in the show because there were positives in the show it wasn't all bad throughout naruto and uh naruto shipping so let's start off with the main character himself naruto uzumaki the nine tail storyline with the nine tails taking over naruto's body and him and kuruma eventually becoming friends all of that was perfect. They did a great job telling Naruto's story. They did a great job telling Kuruma's story and him dying in Boruto and stuff. I thought they did a great job. One Tails. The One Tails garment, all of that was amazing also. The whole thing with the One Tails is like, it's a monster that's just taking over the Sand Village. It's scary and you see Gara have to deal with it and people just don't like him. It's, it's the same as Naruto's story. And you see a lot of Gar Gara storyline, the tuning exams, him uh dealing with that, uh the Jinjuriki, and then Naruto telling him like, you can be a good person. You could be a good person and stuff like that. And uh Gara changes, becomes a good person, and you see eventually the Shukaku, the sand spirit, helps Gara in the end to fight Madara stuff in the war arc. So you see with Naruto and Gara, we've seen a lot of the Tail Beast, what they had to go through with the Tail Beast. And you see them in fights with the, with the Tail Beast. You see Deidara, um fighting Gara and stuff. And you see him using Shukaku against Naruto in the early Naruto. You see Naruto always transforming into the Nine Tails and stuff. You see Nine Tails and Naruto's always having beef with each other. It's always a big part of the story. You get to see screen time for the Tail Beast. And the person holding the tail beast. And I always like that. That they showed the nine tails and the one tails is stuff. Eight tails. Eight tails, man. You, It's the same thing with the eight tails. It's less, but it's still great. It's fine. Maybe it is about the same with Gara and the eight tails. But Killer B. You see Killer B doing his eight tails power and the, how the cloud village does not didn't like him at a point and was scared of the eight tails because it used to rampage through the city and trip out but killer b accepted it and used the tail beast uh for himself he mastered the ability and you see killer b and the eight tails always together throughout the whole war arc and stuff you see him in fights with characters with the eight tails. They show you the eight tails, how he acts, how Killer B and the eight tails get along and talk to each other. You see Naruto talking to the eight tails all the time. It basically had his own arc where Naruto trained with it. So we always got screen time for the eight tails, and I always appreciated that. I love the eight tails. It looks cool. The fight with Sasuke is iconic. I love that fight so much. And yeah, we see enough. We know everything basically about the eight tails. So I think they did a good job with the eight tails also. The ten tails. Nobody really talks about it. There are ten tails. There's a ten tails. Ten tails was built up as the ultimate threat and the ultimate monster. And the Katsuki eventually get the ten tails and it's a monster. It's a beast and it's uh, not really controlled by many people. Hagoromo could control it and uh, Madara could control it. Obito took over and it's just a straight up monster. So I think the way they show the Ten Tails, we know everything about it. Uh, we have some Ten Tails Jinjurikis, and it was always scary to see it taking over uh, during the war arc. It almost killed like the whole alliance. And yeah, they did a good job also with the Ten Tails. So now let's get into the bad of these Tail Beasts, man. So, let's start it off with the timeline, basically. Akatsuki, they go after the Tail Beast. From what I remember, uh, one Tails, we see him get taken out first. They take out the two Tails. Then they take out the four Tails. They take out the three Tails. You get a little mini arc for the three Tails, but he doesn't really do much in it. But at least you see the three Tails. Uh, five Tails, we don't get to see that. That was off screen. Six Tails, 
We see that happen. Really short scene, though. But we see a lot of the six tails. Seven tails. We we do see in the, uh, the filler true name exams arc. But besides that, really nothing at all. And then the Kakatsuki uh, couldn't really take out the eight and nine tails. So that's the whole story of the, the tail beast and stuff. And this is where I'm star- uh, this is where I got mad about it. The five tails. We'll start off with that. We see, at least with all the other tail beasts, we see what happened to them, how they got taken by the Akatsuki. This just shows the problem with these tail beasts. The five tails, we just really never got a scene with it. And we actually just recently this year got a scene with it in the uh, Minato manga, uh, like little short uh, story. And it's in it for like one second, fighting Minato, Jiraiya, and... uh, Team Dry and stuff way back in the day, but that's really it. I never see the five tails like that. It's barely in the show at all. It's really it only gets referenced sometimes, and you see it talk to Naruto, I guess. But besides that, they didn't do a good job. I really don't know who took the five tails. And I remember when I was younger, I used to watch clips like of each tail beast's death, and all they would show is the five tails just. Uh, like going through the forest or something. It really wasn't nothing they could show because they didn't even put it in the show. And a fool for a long time, the uh, Seven Tails never really got a scene either until the uh the filler tuning exams later on. So I think they just did a bad job with the Five Tails. Let us know what happened to the Five Tails and what he does in his life and why he looks the way he does because he looks cool and. The the horse tail beast looks kind of cool too, so I think that's a big wasted opportunity. They could have did a way better job with the five tails. And let's move on to the next thing, and that is the power levels of these tail beasts. Look, I get it. Some of these Akatsuki members are really powerful, but how did he, Don, get the two tails that easily? He done made getting capturing the two tails look like it was nothing. And I just think they did a horrible job with the tail beast's power levels. These things can use tail beast bombs and can take multiple attacks and fight gigantic like summoning juices like the toads and stuff like that. And they're just really powerful. This is the two tails. And We've seen how Naruto is in his one tail state and Gara is in his one tail state. And I don't think they would go out that bad. The two tails just look like nothing. How he didn't make the two tails look. Even with Kakuzu being there, it'd still be a way more difficult fight. Kakuzu and he didn't had no marks on them. They looked fine. Like it was the easiest fight in the show. And I think they just did a horrible job with that. Now, it's some other tail beats. I'm like, okay, I. I kind of can understand. Like, he, Itachi and Kisame probably can kill the four tails. Pain can take out the five tails. I mean, the six tails, I believe. It's the six tails. And, yeah, some of them I understand. But still, the the three tails one is also kind of like, they made that look like it was nothing. Toby and Dator, I just threw a bomb on it, and that was it. That was the end for the three tails. And I thought they could have did a better job with that, too. It just made... The three tails look real weak. And, um, Fool, for what they show in the filler tune-in exams part, it looks like Hedon and Kakuzu also take Fool. And now that fight, I'm like, that's the seven tails. You're telling me they beat the seven tails in a fight? And seven tails Naruto, they're not beating seven tails Naruto in, um, the, the one that fought Pain and stuff. He might have skipped the seven tails, but... They're not beating the Six Tails either. They're not beating that version of Naruto. And I thought, I was like, they're not beating food. They just did a bad job with some of their power levels. And how I would have handled this whole Tail Beast thing. How I would have proved upon this whole Tail Beast story. Maybe make Naruto ship with it longer. The story, they already struggling with all this Boruto stuff. They have been really off. So it's too late now. But they should have just made more stories kind of going through each of the tail beasts just a little bit like just telling us a little bit more about the tail beast make a little arc or maybe it's like a war between two two uh villages and they they got tail beasts that's trying to fight each other or something and the koski's going after the tail beast it could be a hype arc 
And they just, they have are trying to save some tail beasts from the Koski. I thought they was a little bit just uh, ruthless not helping some of those tail beasts. But that's how I feel about the tail beasts. Tell me how y'all feel about it, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom, my peace.